It's a full hour of me doing stand-up comedy, okay? But I have to warn y'all and educate most of y'all on how to pronounce the motherfucker, okay? Now the title of it, as you, some of you see, is nigga shit, okay? <laughs> nigga shit. It's not nigger shit. It's nigger shit. You put the A on the end of that motherfucker, okay? Otherwise, you may be somewhere and pronounce the name wrong and damn near get beat to death over some bullshit, okay? It's only $10 a copy. It ain't worth your life and shit, okay? And if you see me out in the lobby later on and you want one of these motherfuckers and you ain't black, don't pronounce it by name, okay? You just walk up to me and say, give me one of those shits you got in your hand there, boy. Shit in your hand there. Give me one of those. Huh? It'll be a smooth transaction. Okay? Huh? And when you get to your house and the comfort and safety of your home, you feel free to pronounce this motherfucker any way you want to. And okay? yeah, you pull up in the garage and close the garage door. But look around first. Okay? Don't, just, don't just pull up in there going willy nilly with the niggers and niggers. Okay? Because it might be two or three niggas hiding in the garage that was getting ready to rob your ass. But now they want to beat you to death because you done pulled up in there calling them niggers and shit, okay? Oh, I got niggers shit on! I love niggers on! Okay? So look around first. One of the cousins be in there calling the neighbors up and she's all... Ring. Hello? Hello? Hey! Hey, Bob! You and Susan want to come over later tonight? Megan and I put him on nigger shit. Nigger shit, oh boy. Well, you know, Peter, Susan and I, we love those niggers. We bring over a nice Chardonnay, some cheese and crackers. <laughs> and one more thing. Do not let your kids watch this motherfucker, okay? It ain't for children, okay? Not unless you want them running around the house doing cartwheels and cussing their ass off and shit. Hey, then, then they can watch the motherfucker. <clears throat> Any Laker fans in here? I know they got their ass whooped today. That's why ain't nobody clapping at this motherfucker. <laughs> they do that shit every year. They let people whoop their ass, and then at the end, they start whooping everybody's ass. <laughs> they don't fuck around and let the Clippers beat them earlier. Like, what the fuck? The Clippers? And the Clippers got that new dude, that Blake Griffin, yeah. You seen this motherfucker in the dunk contest jumping over a car? What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. Y'all seen this motherfucker up close? Y'all know this motherfucker cross-eyed, right? <laughs> he cross-eyed as a son of a bitch, you know it. That's why y'all gotta go up and dunk the ball and shit, okay? See, it's, it's hard for a cross-eyed motherfucker to shoot them jump shots and shit, okay? He shoot a jump shot, the ball be flying all up in the stands, slapping the fans all in the head and shit. One lady up in the stands breastfeeding her baby. He done shot a jump shot and knocked the titty all out the baby's <laughs> body. Son of a bitch, don't you see her breastfeeding? Fucking <laughs> Blake Griffin. <laughs> Charlie Brown with a flat top looking motherfucker. <laughs> and you know, guys, we are some nasty sons of bitches. You know that? A guy will take anything and turn it into sex. Sometimes I'm just embarrassed to be a guy, you know? Years ago, a friend of mine was doing a breast cancer awareness run. And she says to me, Wendell, this is for a good cause, you should do this run. Now when she said breast cancer awareness run, I'm so motherfucking nasty, all I heard was titties and run, okay? So I'm all, hell yeah, sign me up for that. I'll run all over this motherfucker for some titties, shit. You know, niggas can't resist the titties and shit. Man, I ran that motherfucker five years straight. I ain't seen nan titty yet. Hey, I ain't seen a nipple in the son of a bitch. Hey. One day I was down at the beach training for the titty run. Just getting a stretch in, about to get a little jog in and shit. So I started jogging and I noticed these two little white ladies running in front of me. Kept turning around, looking back and shit. Hey. So I started turning around and see what the fuck they was looking at. And it wasn't nobody behind me. That's when I realized these two old pros think I'm chasing their ass. They fucking running from me. What the fuck? On a crowded ass beach? They little ugly ass. What the fuck they think I'm gonna do? They look like I'm chasing E.T. and his sister down the fucking street. What the fuck? So then I know that their ass is sped up. So then I got real offended. So I said, fuck it, I sped up. You know? Shit. 
Man, I must have chased them bitches for miles, boy. When they had enough of that shit, they pulled off to and fell all over the sand, tumbling over and shit. I didn't even feel bad. I gave their ass a workout. Got their heart rate up and shit. That's what they come down to the beach for and shit. I ran past them, looked down, and said, Bitch, don't nobody want y'all. I'm training for the titty run. Shit. That is a good workout though, running from a black man. And it's exciting too, because you don't know if he's going to catch you and kill you, or catch you and fuck up your credit and run off. You don't know what the fuck he's going to do. What the fuck he's going to do? Lady all shaking up and shit, giving up police reports. She's all, ah, ah, I thought he was going to catch me and kill me, but he just fucked up my credit and ran off. Oh, <laughs> oh also taking reports. He's all, yeah, yeah, got him. That's been happening a lot lately. Goddamn nigger. <laughs> Shit. Not for real, boy. And you know, with the economy like this, more people than ever are driving around with their cars fucked up and needing repairs. Including my black ass. Hey. Now, my brakes started squeaking and going bad six months ago, and I ain't get the motherfuckers fixed. Hey. I ain't had no money. Now, when you first hear it, and you stop and they squeak, you know, it's a squeak, squeak, squeaky, squeak. Hey. Well, ain't no motherfucking squeak now, okay? Now, when I pull up to the intersection to stop, it sounds like I'm washing cats in that motherfucker, okay? Like, it's like, shit, man, my shit is metal on metal like a motherfucker, okay? Everybody had the light turning, looking at horror and shit, boy. This motherfucker in the car with his kids, he's like, damn! Nigga, your brakes is fucked up! <laughs> you see that, children? Stay in school, don't grow up to be like him! Like, nigga, fuck you! <laughs> shit, I finally saved up enough money, got them motherfuckers fixed last week. That shit cost me over $300 for that shit. And it was fucked up. Because as I'm pulling out the driveway of the repair shop, the fan bells start fucking up the shit. Just, mm -hmm. Thanks, you guys been good. Pick up some more shit. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, window. Yeah. That's that. Infomercial up here.